Hello everyone, my name is Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss solution of the problem knapsack with duplicate items. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? It says that given a set of n items, each with a weight and a value represented by the array W and well respectively. So we have been given n items, all the items have a weight associated with it and all the items also have a value associated with it also. Also a knapsack with weight limit W. So knapsack is kind of, you can assume uh, we have a box whose total capacity of weight is W, capital W. The task is to fill the knapsack in such a way that we get the maximum profit, return the maximum profit. So now what they are saying is that we need to fill this knapsack or you can say a box whose total capacity of weight is capital W with the items which we are given. Okay. And we need to fill it such that the total weight does not exceed capital W. Also, we need to keep in mind that we get maximum profit. What does that mean? Means uh, the sum of the values of the items which we put in knapsack must be as maximum as possible. Okay. Each item can be taken any number of times. Okay. So uh, we have n items and there is infinite supply of each item we can assume because here it is said that each item can be taken any number of times. It can be taken multiple times. For example, if n is 2 and uh, the knapsack capacity is 3 and the value of both the items are 1 and the weight of first item is 2 and the second item is 1. So what I can do is I can take a uh, total weight capacity is 3. So I can take second items 3 times. Okay. So the total uh, I can fill this second item 3 times in this knapsack. So the total weight will be 3 and the total value will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 3. Okay. So the answer is 3. Pick the second element thrice. So the total profit will be 3. Okay. Similarly, here you can see n is 4, w is 8. The answer is uh, 48. The optimal choice is to pick the first element 8 times. Okay. You do not need to read input or print anything. Your task is to complete the function knapsack, which takes the value n, that is the number of items, capital W, that is the uh, maximum weight of, limit of the knapsack and the array's value and wt as input parameters and return the maximum possible value. Expected time complexity is n cross w and expected auxiliary space is w and the constraints are given here. So now if we think about solving this problem, so basically knapsack, you can assume it is a box which we have whose total capacity to fill items is capital W. Okay. Now we are given n items and all the n items have two things associated with it. One is the value associated with each item and the another is the weight associated with each item. Okay. Also, uh, there is, you can assume infinite supply of each item. Okay. Why? Because we were said that we can take any number of times. Okay. So now we need to fill this box with these n items. Any item can be taken any number of times and the total weight of the items which we pick and put in the box should not exceed capital W. Okay, this is the limit. It uh, This much only box can handle. So whenever we put an item in the box, so according to that item, that much weight would be uh, occupied from this box. Okay, so we cannot exceed capital W. And what we want is, we want, uh, suppose let's say this is our box and these are the items in the box. Uh, so we want that the weight, sum of weights of these items is less than equal to W and the sum of values of these items, so sum of values of the items in the knapsack is as maximum as possible. We can call it also profit and we want to maximize this profit. Okay. So what we can do first is the most basic approach, the most brute force approach is the recursion way. Try all the possible things. Okay. So what I can do, I can call a recursive function and pass capital W in it. And what will this recursive function return me? It will return me the maximum value possible. Okay. Now at each step, I have n choices. I can take first element or second element or third element or nth element, right? Because any item can be taken any number of times. So I can recursively call, let us say I picked the first element. So my answer would be value of one plus function of w minus weight of 1 right because initially i called this function okay capital w now if i select the first item so the value associated with the first item will be added to my answer and the remaining weight of the knapsack would be remaining capacity would be initially it was capital w now the remaining capacity of the knapsack would be capital w minus weight of first item because i selected first item in my knapsack Similarly, if I select second item, it would be 
वैल्यू टू प्लस रिकर्सिव फंक्शन डब्ल्यू माइनस वेट ऑफ सेकेंड आइटम ओके एंड सो ऑन इफ आई सिलेक्ट द लास्ट आइटम इट वुड बी वैल्यू ऑफ एन प्लस रिकर्सिव फंक्शन वेट कैपेसिटी रिमेनिंग वुड बी डब्ल्यू माइनस वेट ऑफ एन ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट चॉइस ओके इन द फर्स्ट चॉइस आई आईदर पिक फर्स्ट एलिमेंट और सेकेंड एलिमेंट और एन एथ एलिमेंट ओके ऑल द चॉइसिस now again i have all the choices because here what was said in the question any element can be picked any number of times so here again i have n choices okay i can either pick the first element or i can pick the second element or i can pick the third element or i can pick the nth element here also i can pick the first element i can pick the second element or the third element or the nth element because any element can be picked any number of times here also i can pick either the first element or the second element or the third element and so on up to either the nth element right and so on we will keep repeating this process until this becomes less than equal to 0 because uh, also this should be greater than like uh, whenever it goes negative that is invalid because we cannot fill more than the capacity so uh, whenever we cannot fill further elements we will stop okay and what would be our answer so our answer would be max of this this and so on this okay the max of all these possibilities okay similarly this recursive call we will call another n calls what would be the value which will be returned here it would be uh, what value would be stored here it would be max of all these n cases okay it will be returned here uh, max of all these n cases will be returned here similarly what will be returned in this recursive function max of all these cases okay now let us write two more things so let us say here i picked the first item and now i pick the second item okay let us say i pick the second item so my answer would be value 1 plus value 2 because i picked the second item in my second trial plus recursive function w minus weight 1 minus weight 2 okay because now the remaining capacity of the knapsack would be minus weight 1 minus weight 2 okay uh, in this case i pick the second element in the first time uh, let me pick a uh, first element in the second trial so here it would be value 1 plus value 2 plus recursive function call w minus weight of 1 minus weight of 2 right so in this way we will complete the recursion call now this will take exponential time we need to think of something more efficient right so uh, the time complexity is exponential and we want to convert it into polynomial can we think of dynamic programming to think about dynamic programming we need to see whether overlapping sub problems property is achieved here what does overlapping sub problems property say it says that whether same so smaller sub problems are solved again and again in the recursive call so yes it is true why here we can see here also a function of capital w minus weight 1 minus weight 2 is called here also function of capital w minus weight 1 minus weight 2 is called okay i have not completed the recursion tree but to show i have taken these two cases so there will be overlapping sub problems property so we can solve this using dynamic programming so first of all we uh, let us uh, solve this using uh, bottom up approach okay so we will fill up the table okay so in bottom up approach first of all we need to define a dynamic programming table okay we need to define a state so what would be the table see here in each recursion call i am only uh, calling the remaining weight okay here the initially it was capital w here it was capital w minus weight 1 here it was capital w minus weight of n here it was capital w minus weight 1 minus weight 2 and so on so what i can do i can take i need to store only the uh, knapsack capacity so i can take dp of capital w minus 1 where dp of i will denote the maximum profit understand this clearly what will dp of i denote it will denote the maximum profit which i can get by using all the n items to fill a knapsack of weight i okay the maximum profit which i can get using all the n items uh, and each item can be taken any number of times Uh, when the knapsack weight capacity is i okay this will denote that so initially what i'll do i'll mark all of them as zero okay uh, dp from 0 to w all will be zero now what i'll say i'll say for i equals to 1 i is less than equal to capital w i plus plus okay 
now i'll start filling uh, the table okay so uh, for each value of i i'll fill the dp of i now at this current point of time i can either select first element or second element or third element or nth element i can select any element so i'll uh, try and see in which i can get the maximum value so i'll say for j equals to 0 j is less than n j plus plus dp of i is equals to max of dp of i comma uh, so this is the current value of dp of i and if i consider the jth element then it would be dp of i minus weight of j plus value of j okay so what does this equation say uh, dp of i that is the maximum profit which we can get when the knapsack capacity is i is equals to the current value or if I consider the jth element, then the uh, then value of j will be added to my uh, maximum profit value and the remaining capacity would be i minus weight of j because if we consider jth element, its weight is j. So, the maximum profit which we can get when the knapsack capacity is i minus weight j because jth element is occupying this much capacity of the knapsack plus the value of j. So, whichever will be maximum, it will be stored in our answer. Okay. So, let us say initially dp of i was 0. Okay. Then third element came and it replaced dp of i with 10. Then fifth element came because j is uh, moving from 0 to n minus 1, right? Then fifth element uh, can also be fitted in knapsack and it can give more value, it can give more profit. So, dp of i, let us say, will be updated to 12 and so on, okay? So, we will get the maximum possible value, okay? And here we are running from j equal to 0 to n every time because here it is said that we can repeat the elements. Any element can be taken any number of times. And finally, we will return dp of w which is nothing but the maximum profit which we can get considering all the n elements when the knapsack capacity is w. Okay, I hope you have understood this. Now, let us look at its actual code. So, if you look at the actual implementation, so I have taken dp of w plus 1 and i and j some variables to just iterate. Then I have initialized all of them as 0. Then I have started filling the dp table from i equals to 1 to w and then I have tried and uh, filled each and every element which is possible uh, at the current weight i. So, for j equals to 0 to n minus 1, also here we need to add this condition that if weight of j is less than equal to i where i is the capacity of the knapsack and double weight of j is the weight of the jth element so if it is less than equal to i then only we can fill it in the knapsack okay otherwise what will happen here the index will go negative okay and that will cause error so that's why we are adding this condition and then if dp of i is equal to max of dp of i comma dp of i minus weight j plus value of j okay and then finally we will return dp of w what would be the time complexity time complexity would be big of w cross n because we are using your two for loops n size for loop is inside the w size for loop okay and what would be the auxiliary space the auxiliary space here would be big o of capital w why because we are declaring this array dp of w plus one i hope you understood this now let's submit this code so let's submit it So we have solved this question successfully. I hope you understood it completely. Thank you.